The history of England is rich and diverse, shaped by a multitude of rulers who left their mark on the nation's development. One such figure is Edwig, also known as Edwig King of England, whose reign in the late 10th century has sparked much historical debate and controversy. Edwig's reign is marked by the splitting of the kingdom and numerous attempts by contemporary chroniclers to discredit his legacy. This essay aims to provide a comprehensive analysis of Edwig's reign, delving into the political, social, and cultural aspects of his rule, as well as exploring the motivations behind the attempts to tarnish his reputation in written history. Edwig, born in 941 AD, was the son of King Edmund I and Queen Ulfjifu. He ascended to the throne of England at a young age, following the untimely death of his uncle Edard in 955 AD. His reign, which lasted from 955 to 959 AD, was marked by both internal struggles and external challenges. At the outset, Edwig's realm was plagued by conflicts between powerful noble families vying for influence at court. One of the most notable events during Edwig's reign was the splitting of the kingdom. This division occurred when Edwig's brother, Edgar the Peaceful, was crowned as King of Mercia and Northumbria, while Edwig retained control over Wessex. This division was a significant departure from the usual unity of the English kingdom and had far-reaching consequences for the balance of power within the realm. The division was influenced by various factors, including regional allegiances and the desire to maintain political stability. However, this decision also sowed the seeds for future conflicts and rivalries between the different regions of England. Contemporary chroniclers of Edwig's reign, such as the chronicler Thelward, were quick to paint a negative picture of the king. These chroniclers often portrayed Edwig as a morally corrupt and weak ruler, focusing on his alleged misconduct and neglect of royal duties. One particular incident that received significant attention was Edwig's alleged abandonment of his own coronation feast to spend time with his lover, Thelgefu. This incident was used by chroniclers to depict Edwig as a hedonistic and irresponsible king, unfit to rule. The motivations behind the attempts to discredit Edwig in contemporary written history are complex and multifaceted. One prominent factor was the political agenda of the chroniclers themselves. Many of these chroniclers were connected to rival noble factions who sought to undermine Edwig's legitimacy in order to promote their own interests. By portraying Edwig as a weak and morally corrupt ruler, these chroniclers could justify their own opposition to his reign and the division of the kingdom. In recent years, historians have taken a more nuanced approach to evaluating Edwig's reign. Instead of solely relying on the biased accounts of contemporary chroniclers, modern scholars have turned to a broader range of sources, including charters, archaeological evidence, and comparative studies. This reevaluation has led to a more balanced understanding of Edwig's reign, recognizing the challenges he faced as a young ruler in a politically tumultuous environment. Edwig's reign was marked by intricate political dynamics, including the struggle for power between different noble families. The division of the kingdom can be seen as a pragmatic attempt to maintain stability and prevent conflicts between rival factions. Edwig's actions, such as his appointment of Thelston as Archbishop of Canterbury, also reflect his attempts to consolidate his authority and build alliances within the church. Edwig's reign was also influenced by broader socio-cultural factors of the time. The 10th century was characterized by shifting societal norms and evolving cultural values. The influence of Viking invasions, for example, had a profound impact on the English kingdom, leading to changes in governance structures and cultural practices. Edwig's reign took place in this context of change and adaptation, which undoubtedly affected his rule and decision-making. Despite the attempts to tarnish Edwig's legacy, his reign had a lasting impact on England's history. The division of the kingdom laid the groundwork for regional identities and power centers that would continue to shape the nation's political landscape in the centuries to come. Additionally, Edwig's reign provides valuable insights into the challenges faced by young rulers in a complex political environment, shedding light on the strategies they employed to maintain control and legitimacy. In conclusion, Edwig King of England's reign is a fascinating period in English history that has been subject to both praise and condemnation. The splitting of the kingdom, a significant event during his reign, had far-reaching consequences for the nation's future development. The attempts by contemporary chroniclers to discredit Edwig were driven by political motives and biases, which have since been re-evaluated by modern historians. 
Through a more balanced examination of historical sources, it becomes evident that Edwig's reign was shaped by complex political, social, and cultural forces. His legacy, while marred by controversy, contributes to our understanding of the challenges faced by rulers in a tumultuous era of change and adaptation.